What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Ron P Media. And in this video, I'm going to help y'all out with a common problem that a lot of new engineers face when they're mixing and mastering their music. The issue is you in your crib, you recording your song, you mix and master it, it sounds good. Then you listen to it in the car or different headphones, whatever, and it sounds totally opposite than your original mix sounded. So I went through that and hopefully by the end of this video i can relieve some of y'all headache and stress so y'all don't have to be wondering why do it sound like this in the house and then when i listen to it in the car it sounds different the very 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 first thing that i recommend is if you're not already using studio monitors get you a pair of studio monitors before i got my studio monitors i used to mix and master my music out of regular like Bluetooth speakers or just headphones laying around the house and stuff like that. So, and it would sound good coming through them, but at the same time, when I listen to it in the car, it's just like, it, it sounded trash, you know what I'm saying? And the reason why, because, okay, like when I was using the Bluetooth speakers, I was using the Bluetooth speakers to mix my vocals those speakers, Bluetooth speakers, uh, surround sound speakers that you got in, in your house, those speakers are made to have more of a full surround sound. You know what I'm saying? Those speakers are made to be loud. Th those kind of speakers will lie to your ears and make you think your stuff sound real good, you know, when you're mixing it, you know. But in reality, it really doesn't because those speakers have like little amps and stuff in them that just gives it a full sound and it makes you think. So if put it like this, if you got a weak mix, right, and your mix is not that strong, but you're listening to it through Bluetooth speakers, it's going to sound like it's a full, strong song because those speakers are made and designed to do that. Well, the difference with mixing monitors or mixing speakers is they're more true to sound. So if your vocals don't sound strong, you're going to hear it coming out of those studio monitors. If the bass is too loud over the song, you're going to hear it coming out of the studio monitors. I used to listen to my music in the house and coming out of the Bluetooth speakers. And like I said, they sounded good, but in the car, they sound different. And I would go to the car I would take notes like, okay, I need to go raise up this vocal. And then I go in the house, make the changes, burn another CD, go listen to it in the car and be like, okay, now I got to do this. And I would sit there and I would go through so many CDs. Like I said, I was just working myself over overload because I'm trying to get that right sound and it's just not there or whatever, like I said. So with the studio monitors, you don't have to go through all of that. You don't have to work so hard. You know, they're pretty much true to sound. So that's the first thing that I would recommend, getting you some studio monitors. The second thing I would recommend is getting some mixing headphones because, yeah, they have all these different kind of headphones, but you specifically have to get mixing headphones because they're going to give you that flat sound, that true to your ear sound that you're looking for, just like the big speakers will. So you got to get you some mixing headphones. The same thing, you know, you got to mix your stuff through those, and that way you will know, okay, I really do need to take out this bass, or I really need to raise my vocals, and you'll pretty much be accurate, you know what I'm saying? So make sure your speakers and your headphones are mixing and headphone speakers. After you've listened to your mix coming out of your studio monitors or your studio headphones, the best thing to do is still put it on a CD and listen to it in the car. Put it in regular headphones like the Samsung headphones with the little buds that come with the, usually come with cell phones. Listen to it through there. Um, listen to it through Bluetooth speakers. If you can see in the back, I have uh, those two blue right there. Those are Bluetooth speakers. I listen to it through a bunch of different settings before I finalize it, you know, so that way you don't put your music out there and then, you know, people hear it and then they be like, it's all right song, but it sound too muffled, it sound too, you know, so, and I, that's what I used to go through with my music or whatever, because I would put out some of these dope songs, but the quality wasn't how it was supposed to and people didn't receive it how I wanted them to receive it. So that's a big factor, you know, I learned that it's not about how cool the song is. If people can't hear it and receive it and just ride to it without having to adjust their settings and no one, nobody wants to adjust 
the settings for every song that come on you know it's just like track one i had to raise the bass track two i had to lower the bass track three i had to put some treble into nobody want to do that so people want to put it in just listen and ride so so those are some of the things that i would suggest y'all do to help y'all with this whole headache of mixing and master all right y'all i hope this video was helpful and uh i hope that y'all subscribe hit the notification button I'll be uploading videos every week, weekly. Y'all know I got y'all. Make sure y'all comment down below. Leave me a lit comment so I can shout y'all out in the next video. And make sure y'all comment down below if this video was helpful and you need me to make another video on something else or whatever, whatever. Like I said, I'm here to help y'all. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all leave me a message on my social medias. And it don't matter what social media it is, Facebook, uh, Instagram, whatever, leave me a lit comment and I'm going to still shout you out. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Peace.